Hey everybody, thank you so very much for tuning in to the video. Well, a couple of weeks ago, I purchased my first ammo spam can, and it was from Walmart, and as you can see, it's the Tula Ammo, the 223 Remington Full Metal Jackets, 55 grain steel case, and you can see that it's a 500 round tin. And so I'd planned on holding on to this for a long time and not opening it, um, but I have a new gun coming that will take uh, the 223 or 556, and so I've just uh, decided I'm going to go ahead and open this up, and uh, and of course I want to see inside it. You know, I've seen videos, but uh, this will be the first time I've ever opened up a spam can. So here we go. And of course, we are expecting here some type of a uh, air release coming out of here. Most of them do anyway. Except that one did not. And of course. If this gets boring, I will go ahead and speed it up. Now I've seen people go facing upwards. Let me see how that works. I was going down. to me like it was easier to go downwards of course we've all seen the videos like as like I said and of course it is kind of boring until once you get to the nice prize on the inside you can see I'm uh, doing pretty well here it's just sometimes this uh, this little opener doesn't want to get in where you want to get it at. But of course, like I said, this is the first time, so I'm sure there's a lot of you open a lot more than this. Also, be on the lookout on Thursday for the video of the new gun that I've got coming in, and I'll do a box opening for that. I'm really excited for that one. I'm not going to give it away, but of course, at least you know it takes two, two, three, five, five, six. Now, also, I've seen in the videos that once you get coming around these corners, it's a little bit tougher to do. And of course, like always, you got to be careful when you do open these up that you don't cut your hand on these sharp metal pieces. Well, almost one side done. Pretty jagged looking. All right, let me turn it around so I'll get the other side. But like I said about my other gun coming in, I'm really excited for that. And I'll be doing uh, the unboxing video, and then I've got a few accessories coming for it, and I'll do videos on that coming up, and then of course range videos too as well so got some good things coming up soon I have seen a couple of videos people open up these cans that they usually wrap these handles with something because it does get your hand too as well or I guess if I wore gloves I could have gloves sitting close but didn't think of that because you just want to get to this pri the prize inside Oh, I see it is easier moving forward. Yeah, I would have been done already if I would have that way. I guess you learn something new every day. Should have followed the videos that I that I watched earlier. Well, that'll be for next time. All right, let's 
Look at these sides down here. And I thought I'd do this video a little bit different. Most, everybody's got the uh, on a tripod, but I thought I would try to give a little bit closer look. All right, so I finished open that last end up, and I'm going to go ahead and pry this up. And of course, like I said, hopefully without cutting myself, because that would not be good. Probably, should, like I said, shouldn't have those gloves on. And finally got it. That wasn't bad though, five or ten minutes. And we got some cardboard pieces on top and on the side. And of course your regular tool ammo 223. We'll go ahead and open these up. And of course we all know what they look like. There we go. And of course with this uh, new gun that I'm getting, you know, this is not going to be the first I'm going to shoot through it. I'm going to shoot some brass through it. And then, but also I just want to make sure that this gun can or cannot shoot the Tula ammo. Because that's a good thing to know. And then there's the rest of them inside. And of course they have the little material pull tabs to be able to pull them out. So there you are. That's me opening my first ammo spam can. And of course you live you learn. I watched the videos and did it differently but uh, definitely the way to go is uh, going forward on it instead of going downwards and it was a lot cleaner cut going that way. And you can see on the uh, on the lid here where this end here I did it the correct way and it's a much more of a straighter cut and when I was going downwards I was getting all of this uh, this jaggedness. So that is the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video please give it a thumbs up. Helps the channel out. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so. Uh, it's, it's so much easier to subscribe. Just go to the end of the video where it says subscribe. Click there and it'll take you right to where you can do that. And like I said, look forward on Thursday and days after that for the new uh, gun that's coming in. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.